Alright, welcome to part 6 of our tutorial on the game controls. In part 6 what we're going to be doing is setting up the game so that uh, when a bad guy touches our main actor, the game will restart. First thing you need to do is select your main actor. I'm going to hit period on the number pad so we can zoom in on our main actor. There we go. And then what I want to do is under where it says, you gotta click on your logic button and under add property, we're gonna give him a name. So we're gonna name our main actor Fred, all lowercase letters. Once we have that set up, we can do shift S and put our cursor to our selection and we can add in our bad guy. So to do that, I'm gonna go to add mesh and then I'm gonna select UV sphere and then just click OK. And I'm gonna move this what you could do is you could sculpt this UV sphere into a little ghost or something if you wanted to. A little Pac-Man ghost. Um, I'm just going to leave it as a UV sphere. And I'm going to show you how to set up the properties. Alright, so... And actually I'm just going to move him about right there. Okay. So once he's where you want him you can start setting up the properties. So go to the logic button, make him a rigid body, actor, and then bounds. And then let's add in a sensor controller and an actuator. Our sensor is going to be on near. And where it says property, we're going to type in Fred. Because Fred is what's going to activate the sensor. And the reason we do that is so if one of the pickup items would touch this bad guy, it wouldn't reset. Or if the plane would touch it, it wouldn't reset. So we have our sensor, which is near, property, Fred, all lowercase letters, controllers on and, and then the actuator is going to be under um, scene. And we're going to set it to restart. So when Fred touches the bad guy, the scene will restart. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out. I'm going to hit P to get started here. And if I run into him, the game will restart. Alright. So next what we have to do is set um, the bad guy up so that he'll track or move to Fred. So we're going to add in a sensor, controller, and actuator to the bad guy. We're going to leave the sensor on always, connect it to the controller, and then connect the controller to the actuator. For the actuator, we're going to go to where it says edit object. and then change where it says add object to track to and then where it says OB you're gonna put in the name of your main character so if you right click on your main character there we go and if you click on the object button it'll say the name so it says sphere and notice it has a capital S so we need to type that in exactly so we'll go back to the bad guy and the logic button and under OB we're gonna type in sphere and you would type in whatever the name of your bad guy is and you can tell that it worked because it typed in the actual name um, so what's left is we can set up basically a motion sensor or actuator hooked up to this. So let's click on add. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect it to this control. So it'll always and we can set up the motion. There's different things you can do. Um, under LINV you could put one. And basically you just want to mess around with these properties and see what will work for your game. If I hit P we can try that out. There we go. And 
Okay, so he's kind of like flying in the air, so that's not really what we want. Um, there's other stuff you can do. You could try like a negative one. See what that'll do. I'll hit play. We can try it out. So now he's like going into the ground. Ooh, and he restarted. And you can move these guys around. So we could move him. Say we moved him into the corner. Um, let's move this back to zero. We can try different things. Um, under location, you could put like 0.1 for each column. And we could test that out and see how that'll work. So that'll make him fly around. That may be what we want. Ooh, that's hard. So he's right on me. So you gotta kind of juke him. Ooh, yeah. that's a good one and he actually fell down and didn't get the maze there we go and we made it to the next scene so I'll hit escape so that's good if you go to location and put point one zero for each of the columns that's a good one um, and then also what you want to do is you want to go this is the last thing you'll do is you'll go to your collectible items and under property you'll type in Fred F-R-E-D all lowercase for each of your collectibles and that way what you're telling it is that the only thing that can make the pickup item go away is Fred oops I've got my lamp selected There we go. So once you have all that, go ahead and go to File, Save, click on your link, and then that'll be it for Lesson 6. Thank you.